So right now I'm going to go through and explain how you set up your outline for your Crucible essay. Your essay itself needs to include an introduction, a body, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. We're going to worry about your introduction and conclusion next week, so what I want you to focus on right now are your three body paragraphs. So each body paragraph needs to contain two points, two pieces of evidence, and two explanations that relate back to the topic sentence of the actual paragraph. So what you need to do is go through and figure out which one of the topics you are going to choose to write your essay on. If you're choosing Tragic Hero, that means that you're going to take out the paper that we did on Monday with the five different characteristics of a tragic hero and you're going to choose three of those that you're going to talk about and each one of those three is going to be in a separate body paragraph. If you're dealing with reputation you're going to pick three separate characters who were concerned with their reputation. If you're going to deal with McCarthyism and the Crucible you're going to use that handout that we discussed um, at the beginning of the play where it was the chart on one side was um, all the information about the Red Scare and communism and McCarthyism and then I had you fill in everything about the Salem Witch Trials. If you're going to do topic number four, you're going to pick one character and you're going to give me three reasons why they are to blame. Lastly, if you choose topic number five, which is the one I'm going to use for the rest of this explanation, you're going to choose a character to analyze. So each one of these topics has an optional thesis statement. You do not have to use the thesis statement that I give you, but you are more than welcome to. When it comes to this particular essay option, we're going to pick one character and we're going to figure out what that the purpose of that character is, what their role is, how they would be described. And we're going to focus on what the character does, what the character says, and how other characters react to this particular person. So the rest of this is all examples that we're going to get to later on in uh, next week. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my outline. Okay, you do not need to worry about the hook and attention grabber right now. We're going to deal with that next week. Same thing applies for your background information. Your thesis statement is, again, going to be either something that you write yourself or it's going to be a copy and paste of what was on the actual assignment sheet. So in this case, I'm going to be doing a character analysis and focusing specifically on Elizabeth Proctor. So when I go ahead and think about the type of person that Elizabeth Proctor is, she's definitely Christian, she's definitely respectable, she's honored in and valued in the community, she tries to be a good mom, she tries to be a good wife. All of these things make her a very like godly, respectful, wholehearted woman. So my first body, knowing that, my first body paragraph is going to specifically deal with, according to this assignment right here, let me scooch back up to the top of it, um, I want to know specifically what the character does. So then I'm going to go into my outline and I'm going to think to myself, what does Elizabeth Proctor do? Well, when I think about it, Elizabeth Proctor is the type of person that really sort of conducts herself as a very respectful, um, in a very respectful and godly manner. And the first point that I'm going to use is my example. What about her makes her a respectful, godly person? So the first thing I'm going to come up with is that she knows her Ten Commandments. So then I'm going to go into the book. Or in your case, since you're at home, you're going to go into Google Classrooms and you're going to look at where it says Act 1 reading, Act 2 reading, 
etc. And you're going to pull the pages up and find what you're looking for. In this particular case, I chose the quote that Hale says, do you know your commandments? And then Elizabeth responds, I surely do. This is what's key. After I finish my quote, I have Miller, which is Arthur Miller's last name, the playwright, but then I also need the page number where I found this quote. Okay, this is extremely important that you do now because you're going to waste valuable time when you turn your outline into your essay if you don't. So then down here, my explanation, I'm going to explain how Elizabeth, knowing her Ten Commandments, shows that she is a respectable, covenanted Christian. Okay, this does not come from the book. This comes right here from your brain. Okay, so then the second point, again, what is something else that Elizabeth does to show that she's a respectful, godly person? And I'm going to say that she tells the truth. So the quote I chose for this was when John Proctor says, in her life, sir, she has never lied. Dot, 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 meaning there's stuff in the middle. My wife cannot lie, end quote. And then this was found on page 1259. Okay, so then again down here, I'm going to explain how this quote and how the fact that she cannot lie and she always tells the truth goes back to prove that she is a godly, respectful person. Then I'm going to get to body paragraph two. And body paragraph two is all about the things that she says to describe, um, to, that describe her as a person. So I'm going to come up with my topic sentence, which is going to be something about what she says. Then I'm going to think about what she does say. Um, and I might point out that she's honest. So then I'm going to find the quote in the text where she owns up to her contribution to the affair and so on and so forth. Then I'm going to move on and then do the same thing for body paragraph three. You don't need to worry about your conclusion yet, okay? The biggest thing that you need to be focusing on right now is coming into class on Monday with information filled out for body paragraphs one, two, and three. If you need further help, please make sure that you reach out to me on Remind. I hope this helps.